Greetings and welcome to another episode of The Fan Perspective. I am your host Nathan Nile and these are reflections from the con from the conference championships. And basically, here's the deal. Atlanta played exactly like they did last week. Started out fast in the first half, got a huge lead, and in the second half they gave it away. Only this time, unlike last week, they just weren't able to pull it out at the last second. And so San Francisco's going to the Super Bowl. And then later on, the, the Ravens, they started off pretty strong. Uh, New England got a slight lead. The Ravens fought back and took got with a touchdown to take the lead and then the Ravens got the Patriots got a touchdown went into half up 13 to went into halftime up 13 to 7 and then in the second half the Ravens just dominated and they end up winning 28 to 13 and so for the first time in the history of the NFL their brother, brothers are coaching against each other in the Super Bowl Jim Harbaugh versus John Harbaugh and let's be honest, these teams are almost exactly alike. Ray Lewis, I mean, Patrick Willis is the second coming of Ray Lewis. Deshaun Goldston and Ed Reed, those are both two very versatile guys who can make plays all over the field. Hello, Tenata, Justin Smith. Terrell Suggs, uh, what was his name again? Alden Smith. Uh, just, and not to mention, you know, Ray Rice, Frank Gore. This, there's, this is going to be... An exciting game to watch. I'm already taking RSVPs, planning out my party, so I'll know how many pizzas to order. I am not missing this. This is going to be the final game that Ray Lewis plays. And I'm just going to go ahead and predict it right now because Super Bowl Sunday, I'm going to be too busy having fun, enjoying enjoying myself. And I'm, not, I'm just not going to feel like putting up a video then, and you're probably not going to feel like watching me. And so here... I mean, if you're on the internet on Super Bowl Sunday, there's something seriously wrong with you. My eyes are going to be glued to the TV. And let me say this for the first... I mean, both of these are great teams. They both deserve to win. And honest, the defenses are both so good that I would not be surprised if they went into triple overtime. And the winner it came away one with a score of three to nothing. I would also not be surprised with the offenses that they have, the ability that these QBs have shown to throw the ball downfield. If they if it was a shootout and they ended up it ended up being a forty one to thirty five game. I mean, but what do I expect more than anything else that the Ravens are going to win it? Uh, and. Joe Flacco has been playing lights out. He has not thrown a single interception in the playoffs. He outdoed Peyton Manning in Denver. He outdoed Tom Brady in New England. These are these are very difficult things to do. Baltimore held Tom Brady to one touchdown in the first half, zero in the second. Their defense is playing right. Their defense is playing their best football right now. And the 49ers, this isn't a knock against them because they are a fantastic team. Kaepernick has shown the ability to get the ball downfield with his arm when he needs to. He can get out of the pocket, make plays with his legs. You know, they can stretch it over the field, which was really the only thing they were missing to, from making them a complete football team. That's what you didn't get with Alex Smith, the big plays, the explosiveness. And he's doing it at a consistent basis right now. Franco is one of the best halfbacks in the game, and you've got a defense which, you know, at the core of it all, you've got Patrick Willis, who, as I've said before, the second coming of Ray Lewis. If Ray Lewis wasn't still playing, I would think that Ray just jumped out of his body and went into this guy, this kid's, because Patrick Willis is just one beast of a man. And this is going to be an exciting game to watch. And I'm going with the, the Ravens more than anything else. Just fuck logic. This is an emotional pick for me. Pure emotion here. I'm going, I'm choosing the Ravens to win because I want to see them win. That's all there is to it. And I don't give a fuck what numbers you want to throw at me. I'm choosing the Ravens because they've had a hell of a season. They've had a hell of a year because last year at this time, they... <coughs> 
they fell to they fell just short of beating the Patriots. I mean, no, scratch that. Last year at this time, the Ravens beat the Patriots. They had that game won. Lee Evans dropped the go-ahead touchdown in the end zone, and then Cundiff, for no real fucking explanation at all, other than the fact that he just sucks and crumbles under the pressure, he completely shanked that field goal, and Baltimore got sent home. And then in the offseason, Terrell Suggs has an in Achilles injury, and they're being told he might not come back at all in the year. And then the season starts, and the Ravens are going through so much already. Uh, they, the, Torrey Smith, you know, his brother dies. Tra uh, Art Modell, he passes away. The, uh, and then... Uh, Ray Lewis, he goes down with the tricep injury, expected to miss the rest of the year. Ladarius Webb, he goes down with an injury, misses the rest of the year. Holote Nada playing with the torn LCL. And Ed Reed banged up, getting banged up every week. A new injury every time he gets on the field. And it's just, they, they, the Ravens have had to overcome so much. I mean, they started off so well, 5-1. and one, But then over the rest of the season, they, they were about a 500 team. They really weren't that scary or anything. They barely held on to their division lead. Barely, you know, they, they could have easily been out of the playoffs if a couple other plays had just gone wrong for them. I mean, that 4th and 29 against San Diego was a miracle in itself. Then they go into the playoffs and... No, I, I I'm gonna be honest. At the beginning of the year, I would I would have had no problem saying that the Ravens would have gone to the Super Bowl, but going into the playoffs the way they had been playing, you know, I didn't think they'd get out of the first round. But then Ray Lewis comes back healthy, and he starts playing again. And before they even get on the field, he's announcing that he's going to retire. And the Baltimore Ravens just came out in total beast mode. You know they. They, de they destroyed the Colts. They outdoored Peyton Manning and the Broncos. They shut out Tom Brady in the second half. And now here they go, go back to the Super Bowl. It's amazing all the shit that they've gone through in the last 365 days. And I want to see them win it. I want Ray Lewis to get another ring. He is already the best linebacker that the NFL has ever seen, arguably the best defensive player to ever play any sport. Let's be completely honest here. And just, it, I just, I want to see him win. That's all there is to it. <coughs> so, yeah, obviously, I'm not going to put up another video tomorrow like I usually do. Monday, just... Enjoy your free time, whatever. But, you know, Tuesday, Friday, NBA Weekly. I'm probably going to do something on Pro Bowl week. Uh, maybe announce rosters and stuff like that. Uh, talk about different moves that have been made at head coach and whatever. If you haven't been paying attention to that. But more than anything else, I think this is going to be one of the last videos you see of me. At least until the draft. I'm going to do something, I know for a fact I'm going to do something regarding draft coverage. If you want anything more, let me know. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, but as of right now, I don't really have any planned videos until April when they start, when the draft starts coming around. It's in April, right? Uh, whatever, who cares? Ravens are going to the Super Bowl. Ray Lewis is going to play one more game, and I'm going to be there watching every second of it. And let me just say, point this out for what, for the people who want to say something about it. I am not a Ravens fan. I am not a Baltimore Ravens fan. I am not a San Francisco 49ers fan. I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. And next year, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be rooting for the Dallas Cowboys to, uh, for all 16 games that they play. But I love the game of football so much. It is my favorite sport. And, you know, I have so much respect for, people, for players like Ray Lewis who play it at such a high level for 17 seasons. I mean, that's most of my life. I mean, I was five years old when this guy was drafted. Five years old. I was in elementary school. I, I don't think I even knew how to write back then. And, uh, just... Uh, that, that, there it is, okay? Ray, I just love Ray Lewis so much. And I just, I am just, I am so excited for this game, I don't know if I've ever been more excited to watch a Super Bowl game. In any and anyways, that's it. 
Uh, what are you, do you have plans for the game? Did you? I mean, are you excited? Did your teams get in? Did you make any money? I'm just kidding. Don't gamble. It's illegal in most states, depending on how old you are. Anyways, uh, yeah, this has been the Fan Perspective. I am your host, Nathan Lyle. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Until I hope you had a great season. I know I enjoyed it, and hopefully next year I'll come back much better. Uh, this semester, I'm going, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to college and this semester I'm taking a course on video editing, so who knows, maybe next year, when next year I'll do, the videos will pop, might even be a little different, maybe a higher quality, blah blah blah, whatever, but we'll, we'll see what happens, you never know what the future brings, but more than anything else, I have a whole year of experience under my belt, and so I'll be able to do much better as a host for you. Uh, look forward to that. Until then, keep up on the NBA. I'm going to start going even more in-depth, adding a little more opinions into everything that I do. And until then, well, I'll see you when I see you. I holla!